Hey everyone, Will here with my uh, picking finds for uh, week ending March 3rd. Uh, got a few neat things to show you. Not a whole lot. Uh, still kind of uh, cold out keeping up people from uh, setting up. But uh, let me show you over here. Way down there. That's daffodils coming up through the ground. They're a good, uh, oh, probably uh, eight inches above the ground now. Uh, they'll probably be blooming in another week or two. Uh, so that's a good sign. And I uh, got a few things to show you this week. A uh, couple neat, interesting things. Uh, I'll start off with Sylvester here. A little uh, Sylvester uh, doll um, marked on the back uh, Duncan and Company 1969 I'm sure there's uh, Sylvester collectors out there uh, a little discoloration but uh, not too bad considering it's uh, what, 44 years old uh, a couple little race cars paid a, a dollar for both of them marked poly toys uh, Maserati uh, this one's kind of beat but uh, between the two of them uh, might be able to use some parts between them uh, so pretty much just uh, took a shot at them not really a whole lot there Got a uh, woman's watch for uh, $3. It's a uh, Elgin. Uh, kind of run of the mill. Uh, like the older watches, so. Uh, metal from uh, Spain. Not exactly what kind of metal that is. Bronze, probably. In uh, a nice little box. Five bucks. Gotta look that up. Here's a neat piece, a uh, glass bird, I guess it's a toucan, and you still see part of the sticker there, uh, Murano, and it was $3. Uh, I've had good luck selling uh, Murano birds uh, in the past, uh, so I uh, should make some money with him. Last week I got a little cat and uh, thought it was Figaro, well I found another one to go with him. Uh, he was a buck. So we'll sell them together. This is a neat piece. Not exactly sure if this is just a standalone doll. Uh, been around a while. A little delicate, but uh, uh, porcelain uh, lady here uh, with the dress. See some nice flowers going around the bottom there. I'm sure that was uh, white at uh, one time. Uh, not sure if that was meant to be a lamp or a good one, be a lampshade, uh, but uh, let's see, I paid four dollars for it. Neat, interesting piece, uh, worth the uh, worth the four bucks. And a uh, deal or no deal TV game, uh, still in a wrapper. That was three fifty. Getting on to the better stuff here. Uh, Westmoreland, uh, the clear around the uh, piece of glass, the clear around the edge, I think this is uh, Silvercrest, um, I believe that's what they call it, paid uh, $3 for that. I've had good luck selling uh, unusual pieces of brass uh, in uh, the past year, and I came across this, uh, I guess that's a Model T or something similar. Uh, paid five dollars for that. Got a little weight to it. Neat looking piece. A uh, car collector, a brass collector. Um, that might be a thirty dollar car there. Piece of uh, Fenton glass. Got the cat uh, inside of the boot or shoe. This is marked uh, Fenton. Uh, not sure what they go for. Uh, not a whole lot, probably uh, 10 or 15. When I first saw this, 
I thought uh, that was Harley Davidson. Uh, but it's not. It's uh, Davidson uh, Trucks Freight Moving. Uh, it was attached. I found a, uh, an, an example in Worth Point where it was attached to a, a piece of marble used as a paperweight, I guess. Uh, got some weight to it, made out of uh, pot metal. Proven dependability since 1896. Uh, got some geese coming in. Uh, the one that sold on Worth Point that I found attached to the marble went for uh, $73. Uh, I'm going to put uh, $100 on this and uh, $100 are best offer in my store and see how it goes. Uh, I paid uh, $13 for that. This is not just a pie server, this is a um, piece of Cape Cod uh, made by Avon, very collectible back in the 70s. They also call it Ruby Red, uh, but Cape Cod is the proper name. I paid three dollars for this, and this should bring uh, about twenty twenty-five. Uh, neat little lamp here. This is uh, Bakelite. Wish it had the shade. And the bottom is uh, looks like uh, jadeite green. So, uh, appeal to the uh, Jedi collectors and the Bakelite collectors. Uh, nice and usual lamp there. That was 10 I paid for that. Now, this is a cool looking piece. Uh, got it at auction. It cost me $30. And I, I'm a little not sure on this one. It looks, it looks neat. It looks like Majolica. Um, but I know they've made a lot of uh, reproductions of this stuff. Um, it is marked on the bottom with a couple initials. You can see there. Uh, I don't know. It, it's a neat piece, like I said. Um, I like the uh, I like how it looks with the uh, twig handle and the fruit and the. Uh, some kind of bee, or I guess that's a bee. Uh, neat piece. Got to do a little more research on that. Got a piece of depression glass. Uh, very important with depression glass is uh, condition. And uh, this one's in very good shape. Got a little rough spot here, which really isn't too bad. A nice little cake plate, and that's a uh, cherry pattern. Uh, paid three dollars for that piece of original art uh, signed down at the bottom can't really make it out Gene Gene Madden Madde, M A D Madsen not sure June I mean November 1939 uh, love the original artwork and uh, the uh, the vintage ladies have been very good to me uh, got to try to figure out the signature that's the worst part about artwork is uh, you can't really find a value until you know who did it uh, got an old picture here uh, three dollars got a lot of age on it uh, boy sitting on a lobster trap girl uh, very uh, uh, turn of the century and it actually has a copyright of 1899 so uh, pretty neat three dollars how can I go wrong Got a, a nice little stoneware vase uh, marked on the bottom. Ghosts uh, crafted in Vermont. Really quality piece. Probably just a local artisan. Uh, really well made. Uh, not worth a whole lot. 
Got some more Mega Stuff Oreos. Really love these things. Uh, $2, which is a good deal. Uh, which brings me to another point. If, uh, well, I'll show you the birds, and I'll show you a helicopter. All right, back to the Oreos. Um, ben Benjamin Franklin said, uh, a penny saved is a penny you don't have to earn. Um, and it goes to, uh, probably Oreos is not the best example to use for this, but uh, if it's something that you usually buy, if it's something you're going to use and you see it at the flea market cheaper, uh, buy it because uh, it's less money out of your pocket on a regular day-to-day -day, uh, uh, living. So keep that in mind. Um, flea market isn't just for picking. Uh, now my favorite uh, find of the uh, of the past week. Take a look at this chest. Uh, yeah, it's it's beat. I'd call it primitive, that's for sure. But uh, that's actually a uh, more of a green paint. I love the way this is made. I love the look. I love the uh, patina on it. Uh, give you a closer look here. Uh, you can see it's been dovetailed together, uh, held together with uh, square nails. And this thing's been around a while. Square? They stopped making square nails. Well, they still make square nails, but they stopped really mass producing them uh, back around 1910. So. Here's a good example of a square nail. I think his chest is from the 1800s. Uh, somebody took their time. They made it really nice. Somebody knew what they were doing. Uh, I've seen these where they have like a uh, picture up in this area. Uh, would have been nice if that would have had one, but. Uh, take a look at how it's how it's made the uh, construction. This is all one board nice big boards uh, Not pieced together or glued or anything. It's a solid They use solid boards uh, for the sides here uh, Just imagine the stuff that's been in this thing over over the past at least 100 120 years um, You sure could tell a lot of uh, tales uh, neat looking and uh, take a look at the little details like uh, this piece on the back here now this this piece of wood just keeps the lid from going all the way back and uh, breaking the hinges off so it limits the uh, lid to come up to a certain point and that's it but look at the thought they put into this just this little piece of wood. They could have just put a square piece up here, but they put this up in a uh, beveled this edge, beveled the sides, put these massive uh, wood screws in here to hold it in place, and it's done a great job. Uh, there's the bottom. Uh, but got this from an antique store. Uh, paid sixty-five for it, and uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about putting three hundred on it. Uh, it's just uh, just a neat piece. I might use it in the meantime uh, uh, for the business. Uh, but. Uh, maybe find a, a key for it probably just take a regular uh, full-time skeleton key but uh, definitely going to just leave it just the way it is not going to try to do a thing to it uh, maybe lightly clean it that's about it so uh, there we go 
once again, not a whole lot to show you this week, but uh, some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, so, until uh, next time, this is Will Yard Sales Survivalist, and we'll talk again soon.